Hi everyone, my name is Isabella Sisilawati. I'm an excellent Pavia enthusiast with decades of business experience. In this video, I'd like to show you two charts. The first one look like this, and the second one look like this. Which one do you like better? Chart number one or chart number two? To me, chart number one look messy, cluttered, cheap, and unprofessional. Bad. Whereas chat number two look neat, informative, and elegant, very professional, very good. Do you also notice that both chat number one and chat number two are both based on the same data set? Yes, the same data sets. Chat number one is the type of chart that is typically produced by young and inexperienced analysts earning around 60k per annum, whereas chat number two was produced by someone earning more than doubled. Mm. In this video, I'd like to show you the secret to elevate the look and feel of your charts. I will show you the 10 steps that you can apply to any line charts to make them more elegant, more beautiful, and more professional looking whilst being informative. If you apply these 10 steps religiously, you will notice that your charts will begin to stand out from those created by your other peers. Let's get started. Here are the 10 steps to elevate the look and feel of your charts. First, remove unnecessary lines. They make your charts messy. And you may say, what lines? All lines such as chart border, plot area border, grid lines, y-axis, underlining in title, remove all of them. Mm. Secondly, make sure that there are no slanting title. They are just untidy. How do we do that? Shorten the x-axis values like this. And thirdly, delete unnecessary words because less is more. For example, delete x-axis label, month is understood. Delete y-axis label, million can be inferred from the title. And next, don't show too much numbers. Yes, less is really more. For example, dot zero in the y-axis label, they're not adding value, remove them. Dollar sign is not really adding value as well. It can be written once in the heading. Showing all data labels are making the chart full of clutter, too messy. Step five, smooth the lines. They will make your charts sexier, like this. Step six, minimize the number of colors that we use in a chart. Less color make our chart neat. Too many color make things chaotic and messy. Gray, white, and a color of choice is my recommendation. It can be orange or it can be any color. Blue, green, whatever color that you like will still look good when being paired up with neutral color such as gray and white. Step seven, choose simple round shape for data marker. They look nicer than square or triangle. Also be generous and make the circle bigger as big is beautiful. I like to use the same color outline as your line chart color and use white fill to create a nice and clean look. Step eight, where possible, legends should be written as close to the lines as possible. It will be easier for the brain to comprehend and also use similar colors so that our brain can associate that gray correspond to 2021 and orange correspond to 2022. Step nine, Write meaningful title. Ask yourself, what is the key message of this chart? Spell it out. Adding a narrative will help those people that may not understand how to read chart. And step 10, highlight and draw out key insights using a combination of words and numbers. For example, in this chart, we can point out the highest point and the lowest point. Would you like to see how we can put all the steps in action in Excel? Let me show you.
All right, everyone, you have now reached the end of this video and have uncovered the secret to elevating the look and the feel of your line charts. I hope you find this video useful in helping you to become more effective in your day-to-day -day life. If you like the content of this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Lighthouse Analytics, so that you don't miss out on my future videos. See you next time.